Hi everyone, Carol McRae here, and I just wanted to check in with you and tell you I'm so excited that you're going to be joining me uh, for our next upcoming Reiki Level 1 and possibly Level 2 workshops. So I've already sent you a link to download the, uh, the manual, and if you want to, you can print that out. Alternatively, you could just save it to a disk or uh, save it to your computer. You could save it to your phone or your tablet, and that way you'll always have that information. And I will also have those manuals on my website in a little secret place so that you will then be able to have access to them once you've, you've already completed those workshops up to the level that you're at. And that way, anytime we upgrade the manuals, you'll be able to just pop in there and just see if any changes that have been made and maybe just alter a couple of pages, print out one or two pages if you want to make your own book or whatever that you need to do for that. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. You are going to absolutely love Reiki. It changed my life and I'm sure it will change yours. When I, um, when I was running the RSL Health and Fitness Center many, many years ago, I had really ruined my knees teaching up to 11 high impact classes a week. And um, I ended up with what we what they they told me was chondromalacia patella, which is cracking under the patellas, iliotibial band syndrome, inflamed fat pads, and patella tendonitis. And they said the only thing that there's no way there's twenty percent chance we'll fix your knees. Forget it. You will never exercise again. You can't even go for walks. So when I left that business, I was at um, the bookshop here in Dubbo, and a Reiki book fell out. And when I picked up the Reiki book, I read the back of it and I thought, I've got to learn how to how to hear myself. Um, I then went and to the newsagent. I bought a um, Nature and Health magazine and in the back there was an ad for Reiki. I rang the lady and two weeks later, I was went down to, or I went up to Byron Bay to do my Reiki level one. I walked in and there were three other people there. I took my daughter with me. And um, when I got there, I said, my name's Carol, this is Sarah, we're from Dubbo. This man said, my name's Mark, and I was born in Sydney, but my mother was born in Dubbo. This lady said, my name's Sue, and I was, um, I'm from Byron, but my mother was born in Dubbo too. And the other lady had a different, um, a different little thing that was a, what I would now call a synchronicity, which of course is a coincidence that's more than a coincidence that's really there to tell us we are on this, the right path. And so um, I did level one and then Zeta Michaels, my Reiki teacher said, everybody else leave. Carol, you need to stay, I need to talk to you. You need to come back on Thursday and Friday and do your level two. So I did the level two and on the way home on the plane, I had what I now recognize was a partial Kundalini rising. And we'll talk about that when we get to the workshop. And I got home and I put my hands on my knees for 20 minutes and the next morning, I went to bed and the next morning I got up and the pain and the swelling was gone after they'd been swollen for three years. Then I could jog. Now, that was in 1999. And here I am now in my 60s and I still jog. I've never had a problem with my knees again. That was the start of my journey. Three weeks after I, um, I did my Reiki Level 1 and Level 2, I was doing treatments on people and um, a year later, I had all those people that I'd worked on saying, when are you going to do your master's? We want to come and train with you. Three weeks after I did my master's training, I was teaching classes. And that's what it's been like on my Reiki journey, one thing after another. And it's kind of been like a snowball effect, but it really was for me telling me that everything was lining up for me. The universe was conspiring for my highest good and I was in the right place at the right time. That was what I was meant to be doing with my life. Now, since that day, I've had lots of different ups and downs. I've had breast cancer twice and I've had bone cancer once. Um, the breast cancer the first time was um, when I was helping my husband run our fitness center, Chazen. When I got that breast cancer, I said to him, it's a shame I had to let myself get cancer just so I could get some time off work without feeling guilty. And I actually knew that was the truth. And I said to him, you know, this is not my path. This is your journey and this is your occupation. I'm supposed to be a healer. And I'd only just finished all my hypnotherapy training as well. So um, we sold that business uh, two years later once we, once we, um, once the, the lease had run out and my husband said, you've got to stick with it for two years. I cringed every day going, knowing this is not where I'm meant to be. There's something else I'm meant to be doing with my life. And some of you will probably have that calling in you as well. Something that you know you're meant to be doing with your life. 
So because I was trained as my as a people pleaser, I we sold the business, but I kept filling in classes. And although I kept filling in classes, I was cringing every day. And then uh, six months later, I ended up with bone cancer. And again, I just knew that God or the universe is always conspiring for our highest good. And I, I just knew that it was my subconscious mind connected to that high knowledge saying, what's it going to take for you to get the message? You've got to put yourself first. You've got to honor all that you are. So I then decided that um, I went away and I did a Vipassana retreat. I had a mystical experience at that retreat. And when I came back, I already knew I will get rid of this myself, which I was able to do. Even though the oncologist said, I'm so sorry, you've got bone cancer, we can't fix that. We'll try to slow it down with chemo. And I went, you know what? I think I'm on top of it. I've already had the symptoms and I'm not having chemo. And I know you're used to dealing with sick people, but I'm not one of them. Even though he said, are you prepared to live with the consequences if you come back in six months and it's through your skeleton? I went, yeah, I am. I, I, I know I'll get rid of this myself. Because when I get that gut feeling, I know it's always right. And so it's been a real journey for me. But, you know, six months later, I, I went back to oncology and he said, how's the pain? And I said, a little bit of discomfort if I do push-ups. And another six months later, I went back and it was gone. And, you know, I went to have the, the radiologist and he said, I just can't seem to find that thing on your ribs. And I said, I know, I, I can't see it in my meditations any longer either. So I know the power of Reiki. I have worked with so many people. I had a lady um, who had cervical cancer. We did one treatment and two weeks later, she was going in to have a total hysterectomy. She was 24 years of age. Two weeks later, she rang me and she said, I went to theater and they can't find it. I had another friend who used to do my yoga classes and um, I worked with her for three months. She had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and a football size mass. And they told her that she would never get rid of it. She was on chemo. Three months later, she was cancer free. And even though she had her chemo, I did her treatment a day before a day after her her uh, chemo and she did not lose her hair. She did not have a day of sickness. So I understand the power of the mind. I understand the power of energy with the work that I do. And I know that there's nothing that can't be healed when we shift our perceptions. And when we, we tune into that power that is everywhere within every living thing. So I will tell you more of my stories when you come for the workshop, because it will open your mind. It will help you step into your power and realize that you can create your own reality. So I love you guys. I'm so thankful you're coming along and I hope you all have a, a wonderful time to, between now and the workshop. Get a chance to look through that manual. Um, you can print it out if you want to or you can just save it onto one of your devices and, um, and know that you'll always have that information with you. It's going to really open the door to many of you, uh, for many of you, and open the door in your mind to start to see reality as something that's totally flexible rather than set in stone and to realize it's not about focusing on probabilities but more possibilities and anything is possible so the reiki precepts are the thing that i want you to learn before you come and they are very easy they're the precepts that master Mikao asui the founder came up with in conjunction with the Meiji emperor at the time and they simply are just for today, I let go of anger. Just for today, I let go of worry. Just for today, I count my many blessings. Just for today, I do my work honestly. And just for today, I'll be kind to my neighbor and every living thing. Now I've added to that and I often say, including and especially myself, because you see, every living thing includes you. And I truly believe that we must fill up our own cup and then overflow it. And Reiki is about remembering that you are not responsible for anybody. You are the hollow reed through which this beautiful life force energy known as Ki, Chi or Prana flows for the highest good of all concerned. So that the person that you're working with is actually drawing that energy through you. They draw what they need. And that way you're not depleting your own energy. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover on our uh, in our workshops and I hope you just uh, enjoy taking the time to go through the manual and when you come, be an open book. Stay open to possibilities and you'll realise that there is magic everywhere. So I will talk to you all soon and um, just enjoy and I'm really looking forward to meeting all of you. 
Namaste, my friends. Namaste. I honor all that you are.